Hey guys, Hats on one back at it once again for a brand new video for you and welcome to episode 4 of our FIFA 13 career mode adventure with Dortmund. First of all, I've got to apologise if my voice sounds a little bit wheezy, I have just woken up. Therefore, I'm a little bit shaky right now. <laughs> Second apology, um, thanks to everybody who corrected me on the last video on my pronunciation. Um... I pronounced it Keebling, but I didn't know that in the German alphabet, the funny-looking B thing is actually a double S. So it's actually pronounced Kiesling, from what I've been told. Um, so thanks to Jasmina, who's one of my uh, fans from Germany, who pointed out, and everyone else on, um, on in the comments who pointed out how I pronounced it. I got that a little bit wrong. So um, thank you guys to those who corrected me on it. You can stop now. Um, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, my apologies for getting that so wrong. Um, as you can tell, I'm a black Jamaican guy born in England. How the hell am I supposed to get German right? But um, as you can see, got two got two rather big games going on here in this episode, though. The first one against Hamburg, and the second one against Frankfurt. And a small spoiler, Lewandowski goes off in the second episode. He has a fantastic game, and you'll see what I mean when that game rocks up. And... Something I wanted to talk about this that's become quite a strong topic recently in terms of um, transfer rumours and transfer stories and something that's piqued my interest as a Manchester United fan is there's, there's strong rumours that Manchester United have locked up Lewandowski for a move to, from Dortmund to Manchester United next year for £12 million. Mainly because Lewandowski's only got two years left of his contract. Um, it's like that old FIFA 13 career mode thing where if a player has less than two years on his deal, he can go for a cut price. I think that's quite cool. But, uh, oh, I mean, you know, but um, yeah, um, as I was saying, it's an interesting move that is because you think right now one, the one thing Manchester United don't need is more strikers. We have Wayne Rooney, we have Robin Van Persie, we have... Javier Hernandez, we have Danny Welbeck, we haven't even we even have Angelo Rodriguez right now, but I don't know what we're doing with him. But right now, you think the last thing we would need is more strikers, but you can see the evolution of our side and it's changing right now. You can see that Wayne Rooney is sinking more into midfield as he's getting older, and he has he's still explosive he's still got fantastic acceleration but his sprint speed isn't what it used to be i mean he's at full speed he's not as fast as what he used to be and right now he's showing that he's more of a complete attacking midfielder than he is more of a center forward that's something i've noticed is that he tends to sit back more in midfield and he tends to pass it around a lot more he's not quite scoring as what he used to be i mean he had 27 goals last season with but he had also he also had 14 assists that's why people tend to, to overrate Van Persie's season last year because they, Rooney and Van Persie, they both accounted for the same number of goals in total at 41. Um, Van Persie had 27, sorry, Rooney, sorry, Van Persie had 13 and 11. Rooney had 27 and 14. But yeah, I mean, he's sinking more into, mid, into midfield more often. He's passing it around a lot more. He's showing a lot more complete footballer skills. I mean, Tom Cleverley and Shinji Kagawa are two, the other two that are showing that you know that great passing potential as well. Van Persie is going to be 30 in October. Now, that's still a long way away, and you know this was a high-risk move to sign Van Persie for 24 million last year. But the thing is, is that he was reminding me a lot of Van Nistelrooy when he, he still played at an elite level right the way until he left Manchester United. And um, he was playing at such a high level. It seems to be that age doesn't seem to be a big factor with him. I mean, he's just such a good, he's just such a fantastic finisher that he's age. He does remind me of Van Nistelrooy watching him. He's just such a good finisher. You can get away with him not being the most athletic guy in the world. Just, just kind of bizarre. And then you, you got Chikorito, which is more, who is more of an impact player. He's more of a guy you bring off the bench for half an hour, and there's a, there's a chance he'll get you a goal or two. Or free against Aston Villa, depends on who it is. And then, and then there's Danny Welbeck, who is like the fourth choice striker, but we just signed him up for another long-term deal in August. So it's like, uh, it's an awkward situation because you have so many strikers already, and then you want to bring in Robert Lewandowski. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad he's thinking ahead here. I think Lewandowski would be a good fit for our team. I think he'd be a good fit for the BPL. 
coming out of Germany is always a good place to start when it comes to comparisons to the Premier League. And at that price, I, I don't think we could say no at 12 million. He's at, he's more than worth 12. Um, that that would be a good value transfer. But uh, let me know what you think, guys. I, I mean, I'm speaking as a Manchester United fan and... Uh, you know, people who knew people who knew what I was doing last year will know all about that. And it's one of those things where you just go, hmm. You think about it a lot, but you know, I, I think it's, I think it'd be quite a good kind of bring in. I don't know about the rest of you guys and what you think on that one. And uh, I mean, Lewandowski's not. You know, I kept saying he wasn't working out for me on FIFA, and then what happens in a game? He gets a smegging hat trick. Uh, <laughs> It's one of those things where you, you, you're never quite sure what happens in FIFA 13's career mode. Um, who loved Axel Witzel's long shot as well at the start of the episode? That was a beauty, wasn't it? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much we really talk about here. I think I'm going to do another episode of the Online Racer. Um, maybe on Monday. Uh, probably. This could be my last video until Christmas. I don't know. But I'll have to wait and see. Uh, I don't know how busy I'm going to be in the next couple of days. I don't think I'll do anything tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But, um, yeah, the online racer probably in a couple of days' time. And then a career mode episode where I'll talk about the future because it's uh, probably going to be a fair bit different than what many of you ha had in store. What well, even I had in store. We'll have to wait and see about that one. But, uh, yeah, I've been Harrison 101. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Sayonara. Uh, credit to the players out there for playing so well and for dominating it right from start to finish.